in the flesh. The devil has been here. He's an ancient serpent. The Bible would my faith to him as that old serpent. He's an old serpent, which means he has mastered all the tricks. He has mastered all the deceptions. He has been exposed to different generations. And he knew how to deceive generations. He is the, the, the father of all lives. Hallelujah. He has destroyed many great uh, lives. Hallelujah. Great kings that he has destroyed. Remember the deception in the garden. The deception in the what? In the garden. That is where he began. And that's when, and let, let me tell you, I told you before that the devil had no power over man, though he was allowed to be there. I told you in the garden, the devil was there. He was there. But he was a harmless devil. As long as men did not give him attention, he was a harmless devil. Men could cohabit with him. He was a useless thing. Are you hearing me? He was a what? A useless thing. As long as men did not give him what? Attention. He was a useless thing. So how does the devil gain access to you? You must have given him attention. Someone has given him attention. It's either you have given him attention or all your parents or your generations before have opened that door. Demons will never enter unless there is an available door. Demons operate on principle of doors. Are you hearing me? Yes. They will never enter a person unless there is a door that is available. They cannot just enter. They cannot enter. Are you hearing me? Yes. When you see someone possessed by a demon, there was a the, the door. There is a door that was opened. It's either that person opened the door or all some people that lived before have opened the door for him. Some of the demons that we are wrestling with now, we are battling with demons that our parents opened that door. Our great great parents opened the what? The door. And now we are we are battling with those demons that enter the family. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Family struggle. There's no marriage in this family, or they marry. If they marry, the home is not settled. If they marry, there's trouble in the house. It's because of what has happened. My their father or their great grandfather appeared before altar. They appeared before an altar because they wanted power. They didn't know that there is nothing from the devil that is for free. The devil will give you with the right and he will take with the left. He gives you with the left and he takes with the what? With the right. Sometimes if you appear on evil altar and you say, I want you to help me with headache, they will treat the headache in exchange of seven other things. Maybe they will treat the headache, but they will say, you give me all your generation. So that when all your generations that are yet unborn, you have already sold all your generation to the altar of the devil. That's why when kids are born, they are attacked from a tender age by spiritual husband. They wonder, where is this spiritual husband coming? There's a man that appears in our dream. Where is this man coming from? You, that means there's an agreement in the fall. There's a covenant that was made by a great-grandfather. So many have sold their generation. Do you realize what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. We are you are blessed right now because of Abraham's obedience. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? When did Abraham live upon the earth? Mm -hmm. I don't know how many years, but a lot of years, well before the coming of Christ. But today you are you are enjoying the blessing of what of Abraham. Do you realize the impact of our our devotion? Do you realize the impact of our devotion? What of our fathers who gave themselves to the devil? They are sin. They are they, they, the demons they went and invoked are still pursuing generations. All right. Are still pursuing generations. You a child is born to a family that is so attacked by demons. This family is under idol, idol spirit. One common problem, they cannot get jobs. If they get jobs, everything just cut up. Hallelujah. Nobody makes it in that family. They start to blame one another. Stop blaming one another because this thing is coming from far. Okay. It's an altar that needs somebody to rise and break it. Wow. It's an altar that just needs somebody to rise up and say, I'm putting a full stop to this. Hallelujah. Yeah. Rise up and say, I cannot take this anymore. One thing about God, He is a God of mighty power. Hallelujah. Yeah. One thing about God, He does not need, He has no respect of persons. If you are available, He can use you to break the chain. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you are available, you can be the case breaker of your family. Hallelujah. You can change the record. You can change that record. 
Hallelujah. There could be a record of poverty. You can be the first to make it out of poverty. Hallelujah. There are certain things that they could not do. You can be the first to do them. Hallelujah. You can pioneer a blessing in your life. Are you hearing me? You can pioneer a blessing in your life. You can pioneer a blessed generation in your life. Am I talking to you? Am I talking to you? There is a lady that is called Ruth. Hallelujah. She was belonging to a nation of idols. Hallelujah. A Moabite. Moabites. These were people of idols. But when Ruth saw Naomi, she said to Naomi, with the relationship that we have, Kala Bahaza, the relationship that we have is more than just a mother-in-law and a daughter. Hallelujah. I feel like you are my divine connector. I feel like you are my destiny helper. Hallelujah. And then Ruth was told to go back. There was Ruth and water and Opa. They said, Go back to your people. My sons are dead. What are you waiting for? Ruth said, What I can see here is more than a marriage. Though you don't have sons to give me, though you don't have sons to marry me, the spirit in me is telling me that I must follow you. Wherever you go, I shall go. Your God shall be my God. Hallelujah. The Bible says the woman made a decision. This was something very serious. Hallelujah. Somebody has to make a decision. Somebody has to decide that I am shifting. Hallelujah. Somebody has to decide that I cannot continue like this. Hallelujah. Whatever killed them shall not kill me. Whatever affected them shall not affect me. Whatever destroyed them shall not destroy me. I am a different generation. Hallelujah. From me there is rising a different generation. A generation of prosperity. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Ruth went with Naomi. The Bible says she came to Bethlehem. And Naomi came when she arrived there. The Bible says she said to the people, Naomi is back because it was a time of harvest. It was a time of bread. And when they saw her coming back, the Bible says they rejoiced. They said, Naomi is back. She said, don't call me Naomi. Call me Mara. Hallelujah. Because I've lost everything that I went with. I lost my husband. I lost my kids. I just came back empty-handed. Hallelujah. Mara means bitter. Hallelujah. I was talking about Mara. When they, when, they, when they arrived at Mara, you know what happened? At Mara, there were bitter waters. Mara means what? Bitter. She said, don't call me the Ruth. Don't call me Naomi. Call me Mara, Mara. Hallelujah. Whatever the Mara that you have gone through, are you going through the Mara? The Mara means a season of bitterness. It's a season of sourness. Everything is sour by nature of Mara. Hallelujah. When finances are not coming together, you are trying to, to, to to do whatever mathematics but it's not balancing you try this one it's a, there is a budget that cracks your head hallelujah there is money when it comes it cracks your head it gives you hurt but there is god that can deliver hallelujah if i be a prophet of whom i am receive deliverance hallelujah from that he has a budget in the name of jesus may the lord deliver you may the lord bring you to abundance may you come to the life of abundance we say abundant God. He has never been a God of enough. Hallelujah. He has always been a God of more than enough. When God moves, there will be abundance. Hallelujah. How do you know that God is moving? There is going to be abundance. Are you hearing me? There is going to be abundance. May the Lord move in your house. May the Lord move in your house. Can I declare and declare this place? May God move in your house. When we say God is moving, we mean that God is going to change your finances. Hallelujah. He will not just move and leave your finances the same. He will not move and leave your marriage the same. Let the Lord move in your house. Somebody declare and say, Holy Ghost, move in my house. Say, I want to see you move in my house. Say, I want to see you move in my house. Say, Holy Ghost, move in my life. Say, move in my life. When he moves, something happens. When he moves, something happens. The Bible says the earth was without form. The earth was void. The earth was shapeless. It was hopeless. There was nothing to write home about it. There was darkness over the face of the deep. But there is something the Bible talks about. It says the Spirit of the Lord was moving upon the waters. Hallelujah. The other vision says the Spirit was hovering. Hallelujah. As long as the Spirit of God is moving, there is hope. Hallelujah. As long as the Spirit of God is moving, there is hope. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how bad it can get. 
That as long as the spirit is moving, do this for me, do this for me, do this for me and for you. Hallelujah. Never, never, uh, never, 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 never uh, hinder the move of the spirit. Even if you are down, even if things are not right in your life, uh, there is one thing you must allow. Allow the move of the spirit. Allow the move of the spirit. The Bible says there was nothing about the earth uh, and the spirit was moving. Hallelujah. To me, that was the, uh, the hope. That was the hope, hallelujah. As long as the spirit is moving in your life, it is okay. Sometimes things may feel like they are so stuck. Sometimes your life may feel like it is falling apart. As long as the spirit is moving, you are going to come out, hallelujah. You are going to come out. Hear me and hear me very good. Things are gonna shift, hallelujah. Can I prophesy your life? You are just about to see a turnaround right now. You are about to see a turnaround of that situation. That devil is a liar. You are about to see a turn around about this situation. There is a voice telling you that you are over. There is a voice telling you that your life is over. There is a voice that is telling you your career is over. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Let me tell you something. As long as the Spirit of God can move, your life can change. You can wake up with a new song upon your mouth. You can wake up rejoicing. You can wake up celebrating. Hallelujah. Can you imagine?